Hello, I'm Dave Morrow, Director of Product Management here at OPW. Today, we'd like to walk you through the steps involved in replacing the seals in your Lynx API bottom loading coupler. One of the beauties of this coupler is that it's incredibly easy to work on, as you're going to see in this short video. You can completely tear down your coupler in just a few seconds, providing access to all seals. First, let's look at the tools you'll need a four millimeter Allen key, needle nose pliers, a flathead screwdriver or seal pick, your appropriate seal kit, and of course your safety glasses. The following steps would be typical of repairing your coupler off the loading rack back at your workbench. The first step is to slide the outer collar forward. To do so, you need to defeat the four interlocks or latches that are in the face of the coupler. Now the Lynx coupler has four true interlocks and they all must be pressed in in order to slide the collar forward and allow you to open the handle. Okay, so what we're gonna do is grab the handle and slightly pull back. And while we're pulling back, press in all four latches together at the same time. And with all four latches pressed in, you can slide the collar forward like so. Okay, with the collar forward, we can now open the handle. Like so. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is take our flathead screwdriver and remove our U-clip. Okay, the U-clip is really a key part of the design of the Lynx coupler. So by removing this U-clip, we'll be able to remove the handle shaft assembly and disassemble the coupler. Okay, so just with your flathead screwdriver, and use your needle nose pliers, remove your U-clip. Now with the U-clip removed, we can now slide the handle shaft out of the body. So you just slide the handle shaft assembly out of the coupler. And with the handle removed, your coupler is completely torn down and you have access to all of your seals. We have our wave spring, our adapter ring, and the adapter ring has your, your face, your, your product or no seal. It also has your outer O-ring. We'll replace those. And we also have our handle shaft seals here. So as you can see in just a few seconds, you're able to completely tear down the coupler to give you access to all your seals. Okay, so to remove your product or no seal in your adapter O-ring, you wanna take your flathead screwdriver and carefully work it in the outer edge. And you wanna be really careful to, to not damage the adapter ring. And you can just gently pry that seal right out of the groove. Okay. So there's your old seal. Now we'll do the same for the, the outer O-ring. Again, being careful not to damage the adapter ring and just pry that seal out. So at that point, we wanna inspect your adapter ring, look for any wear, look for any debris. You wanna clean it up. And once we got it cleaned up, we'd be ready to put our new seals in. Okay, so in our seal kit, you're gonna have a new product or no seal. And to install that, you just place it in the, in the face of the adapter ring. And to make it easy to install, I usually start with 12 o'clock. 
6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. So it started in four places equally around the seal and then kind of fill in the middle. And it's important to get that seal fully seated. So you just want to work your way around and get it fully seated in that groove. So once it's installed, there should be no lumps in the seal, okay? If you do have lumps, you'll want to remove the seal and start over. So to replace our outer O-ring, just take your seal, start in the groove, and carefully place it around the ring. You want to be careful to not twist the seal. If you twist it, it could shorten the life of the seal. You'll also want to apply a light coating of grease on that seal as well. And the grease is included in your seal kit. So next, let's change the shaft seals, okay? The shaft seals are housed in a small cartridge, as you see here. So we'll, re we'll completely replace this cartridge. To remove the cartridge, we'll need to, to take the handle off, okay? So this is where our four millimeter Allen wrench comes into play. So we'll just back out this bolt that's tied into this nylock nut and note that this is a captured nut. So you don't need to put a wrench on the nut. You only need to turn the bolt with your Allen wrench and it'll take the bolt out. You do not need a backing wrench on your nut. Okay, with your nut out, the handle comes right off. With the handle removed, we could then take our, our shaft's seal bush. It'll slide right off of the shaft. Like you see here. And there is a washer on the bottom that we'll, we'll want to make sure. It's in the seal kit, but we'll want to make sure that that goes on the bottom as you slide it in. And that'll go in the trash can. Okay. Again, you'll want to clean up your shaft. Take a look at it. Make sure everything's clean. There's no dirt, debris that's been built up. Clean all that off. Anything damaged, any wear. Just make sure everything looks good. Okay, now for your shaft. So in your seal kit, you'll get a new bush. So we'll take our new cartridge and just slide it down the shaft until it seats on the, the shoulder and the washer. Now it's important to note that when you put your seal cartridge in place that the shoulder is on the top because this is going to be where the the u the u pen when you install the coupler is going to be installed across that bush so the shoulder will be at the top of the shaft so with our seal cartridge in place take our handle Just line up your hole, take your shoulder bolt, and again take our, our captive lock nut, put it on the back side, and again our, our four millimeter Allen, and tighten that down.
And now your Hamel shaft is ready to go. We've changed all of our seals and we have all of our parts here in front of us and we're ready to reassemble the coupler. And basically we want to do that in reverse order. Okay, so we're going to start with our adapter ring and our poppet. And we'll want to put the adapter ring over our poppet. Okay, so with that in place, the next piece is our wave spring. The wave spring is going to slide right over the poppet, sits right down on the adapter ring, and that's, that's ready to go. Okay, so a tip. What I like to do when I'm assembling the coupler is I want to have the cam plates that you see here. I want to have the back of the cam plates facing me. Okay, just like you see here. So the back of the cam plates facing me. And then when you take your, your coupler, you'll notice inside the coupler there's a scallop on the inside of the body, okay? So your cam plates are going to align with that scallop. So you'll now take the coupler body and place it over your poppet, adapter ring, and wave spring, like so. So now we have the, the back of the cam plates aligned with that scallop. And if you do that, everything's going to go together in the proper orientation. Okay, so the next step, we want to install our handle shaft assembly. Okay, now we have our, our poppet installed in the body. The cam plates facing the scallop in the back, so we're in the, we're in the proper orientation. You'll want to note the, the hole in the body where the shaft rests, there's a, a small Teflon bush that may fall out during the disassembly, you, you want to put that back in so that stays in place. Just a small black Teflon bush, okay? We also have our tube spacer, okay? So the key with a tube spacer is it's keyed, okay? So the key is going to go into the eccentric cam in the center of the coupler, like that. So that'll go toward that cam. So to assemble the coupler, we'll take our handle shaft assembly, I'm going to slide it through the body, catch our cam, also catch our spacer, align it with a hole in the body of the coupler. and just push it in until it, it's fully seated, like you see here, okay? So with the handle shaft back in place, your tube spacer in place, you're good to go. We can close the coupler, lock it into place. At this point, we'll want to put our, our, our U-pen back in place. And that is a spring pen, so you kind of have to squeeze it in a little bit. You just press your U-pen back into place until that's fully seated. You take your cup coupler, retract the handle, and that's it. Your coupler is now ready to go back into service. For more information on the Lynx coupler or any OPW product, please visit our website at www.opw-es.com. And finally, from all of us here at OPW, thanks for your business.